Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, AvoryLR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button. Swing climbing further beyond the 1100 ladder. I really do appreciate all the support. Yes, you read that title right. My dad played a, God, a chain burn deck at our lay, la, lay, lay, I can't talk today, latest, I was going to say last, and I said latest, latest OTS championship from this past weekend. Uh, he came in 15th out of 31st, so technically top 16, even though he went two wins and three losses before dropping. Um, so, yeah, or I'm sorry, no, he did two wins and three losses throughout the whole thing. It was only five rounds, not six. Um, so, yeah, um, it's it's a thing. So in his words, let, let me kind of give some background on the deck. In his words, and I quote, Yu-Gi-Oh has gone to shit. This format sucks. I'm going to play something just to piss people off. Um, you know, he played Mystic Mind once it came out, or ever since it had came out. And then once it got banned, he just got all pissed. And personally, I think the format's healthy. I mean, I enjoy playing Cash Tier and all that. I've talked about that before. But, you know, with Mystic Mind being gone, he wants to be able to play, you know, a burn deck. He wants to be able to play something where he doesn't have to care about the opponent's effects. And as he says, quote, they go combo, 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 combo. And I'm just sitting there with my vodka and my Sprite and going, Mystic Mind? Cauldron? Field Barrier? All right, let's sit back and relax. Let me, let me turn on my iPad here and watch something. I mean, it's just... That's just the kind of player he is. I've tried to convince him to play Runic. He thinks Runic is too inconsistent. I've tried to convince him to play Eldritch. He thinks Eldritch is too fucking combo, although he thinks Runic is too fucking combo too. So I don't know what the fuck to tell him at this point. Like, maybe y'all can leave some comments down below about decks he could play or how we can improve this Chamber deck. Maybe we'll have a Project Chamber series go on on the channel to help improve this deck because there is actually one little neat interaction that I think can be exploited in one way or another in this deck. So we're going to do this deck profile a little bit differently. Um, like I said, my dad came in 15th place. We're actually going to start with the traps, then go to the spells and monsters because there's only six monsters. Um, so starting off, we're playing one copy of Ring of Destruction because it's a burn card. Not much else to really say there. Uh, and then we're playing two copies of Ceasefire. It's a really good burn card. Uh, flips face down, monsters face up. So like if you're going against Shadals, I guess it's good. Um, counts both sides of the field. Um, we're playing two copies of Ojama Trio because, I mean, you can put tokens on their board. We're not playing Gozen or TC Boo. So, or like rivalry so like they can just link off with these but it's a good burn card if it gets popped <laughs> uh we're playing three copies of secret barrel my dad won a couple games from like chaining these together with other burn cards it was pretty disgusting uh we're playing three copies of just desserts because you want to kill the opponent with burn <laughs> So three copies of Secret Blast. So this is similar to Secret Barrel, except it only counts monsters. And if it's destroyed, so like if the opponent Feather Dusters it, they take an extra thousand damage. So if you have like two of these set, the opponent goes Feather Duster, you can chain them if they have like monsters on the board. Then when both these pop at the resolution of the chain, both these activate to deal an extra thousand damage. And my dad actually won a game because of that. It was, it was really hilarious. Uh, next up, we're playing three copies of Magic Cylinder. Um, you play Lance on your monster and just Magic Cylinder dies, but... You know, people aren't expecting Magic Cylinder in 2023. I can't believe I'm doing this fucking profile. Uh, we're doing three copies of Skill Drain, because in my dad's words, and I quote, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh has too many effects, um, so we, we, we need to slow them down. No, he's not playing Messenger. I've tried to convince him to play Messenger. Like I said, he's not playing Gozen, Rivalry, TC, Boo. He just wants to be able to use Skill Drain to shut the opponent's monster effects off and just slowly burn them. That is, that is the concept with this tech, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we're playing three copies of Dimension Wall. Now... Here's the interesting thing with this, and we're actually going to be talking about this more later on once we get to the monsters. But the way that Dimension Wall works, it's not like Magic Cylinder. It doesn't target the monster. It doesn't even negate the attack. Dimension Wall specifically says that the damage that you would take, your opponent takes instead, and it's considered battle damage, not effect damage. So back in the day, years ago, um, or as my dad says, back in the early 2000s, because that's where my mind is still at, um, he would activate Dimension Wall and people would chain Lance and all that would do is make the opponent take 800 less points of damage. So if you're attacking me with like say a Fenrir and I activate Dimension Wall and you chain Lance, like okay that's fine, I'm not targeting your monster, it doesn't affect the monster, it affects honestly like the player for lack of a better term. So you'll lose 800 attack points on your Fenrir and then you'll just take 800 less points of damage. So that that's something that we're going to be talking about more later but this is considered battle damage not effect damage so do keep that in mind don't let people cheat you if you try and take this to like locals or something it's battle damage not effect damage uh we're playing three copies of gravedigger's trap hole um there's a lot of effects that activate the hand you've got like rise heart uh golden lord for the table 500s um you know, you, you've got certain things that act in hand. The tier element monsters act in the hand. So being able to go Grave Digger to negate it and also inflict 2,000 burn is really good. Uh, for the spells, 
we're playing three copies of extra for draw power three copies of duality my dad opted to go with this and not prosperity because you just want to be able to get engine power um or draw engine power you don't really want to get a one of six um so this this worked out fine for him uh, and then, of course, we're playing this trash. <laughs> so we're playing one chain strike because it's at one and one one day apiece. Like, it's it's a fucking chain burn deck. Like, <laughs> you just set this and activate a bunch of other chains. This would have been amazing in tier element format, the last format. Like, they get up to chain link 14, you just go chain strike. Problem is that if there's multiple monsters with the same name in the chain, you can't even play this. So, I mean, that really shouldn't ever come up, but I mean... We're not looking to do well. We're playing fucking Chain Burn. So then we're playing three Lava Golem to break boards because you've got to break boards. Now, this is where I was talking about we'll talk about Dimension Wall more. We're playing three copies of this broke-ass card, three copies of Mahama the Fairy Dragon. So it says that whenever either player takes battle damage, you can activate this card to special summon it. It's 2,500 defense booty, and the, the opponent takes damage equal to the battle damage that one of the players took. So when you combine it with Dimension Wall, let's say that you're attacking me with like a Kashtira Unicorn for 2,500 damage. You attack me, I activate Dimension Wall. You're now gonna take that 2,500 battle damage instead, but then on the resolution of all that on a new chain, we're gonna activate Mahama in hand to special summon it in defense, and because of its effect of, of either player taking battle damage, you're gonna take another 2,500 points of damage from this card's effect. So my dad won a couple games because they would attack with a monster, he would go Dimension Wall, and then he would activate Mahama on a new chain and then make the player take even more burn damage this card won him several games and it's it's honestly the most broken thing going for this deck combine that with dimension wall because you know if you're attacking like say with 3,000 well you're going to take 6,000 between the d wall and the mahama that's 6,000 points of damage that's almost game right there so when you combine it with the other burn cards i mean that's like an otk on the opponent's turn so besides this though i think that this deck just has nothing going for it <laughs> So let's go ahead and uh, jump on into the side deck. Um, I will show off the extra deck actually really quick because it's irrelevant as fuck. It's literally just waking the dragon targets. Last Warrior, Falcon, Mega Clops, Exterior Dragoons. You play two copies of Dragoons, but this can be just like whatever waking the dragon targets you want. As long as it's just 15 targets, it does not matter. Um, for the side deck, we're playing one Sphere Mode with... What is this? Yeah, two copies of Michion. So Sphere Mode, like if they're just making a bigger board. Uh, and then Michion is interesting because you can side deck this in. Um, this is the Time Lord that at the end of the battle phase, if it attacked or was attacked, um, then it cuts the opponent's life points in half. So that helps you a lot like with your burning. Um, it's not effect damage or battle damage. It just cuts the opponent's life points in half. Really, really good card. Honestly, it's probably one of the best Time Lords. Uh, and then we've got three evenly matched because we got to break board somehow. If we can't, we're going to lose. Uh, we're playing three copies of Waking the Dragon. This isn't once per turn. So if you set three and they pop all three, well, you're getting out three monsters. So yeah, I mean, that's that's hot, I guess. Three Curse of Darkness. So every time a spell card resolves, the opponent takes a thousand damage. So, you know, if you're branded and you want to start playing out your branded fusions and all your spells and shit, you're going to be taking a thousand for each one. Uh, Kash Tira, they activate their Theosis and shit. They're going to be taking a thousand for each one. So it can really help lower the opponent in life points quicker. Instead of playing something like Anti-Spell, you can just play this and make them take burn damage. Um, one Feather Duster because it's at one, and then one Defish and one Macro because my dad just hates cards that activate in the grave. He just wants to be a troll. Like, that's that's just all that we're doing today. So, it's it's been funny seeing him playtest this because at times he's gotten aggravated with the meta. So, like, he like one time he told me, he's like, I just got aggravated, so I just said fuck it and just, like, built a full final countdown 60 card deck with, like, three Mahamas, three D-Walls, three Faders, three Scarecrows. Like, he just, he hates this format. He hates what the game has become and, like, I love this format as a meta player. Like, yeah, Mystic Mind's banned, but that's because the card was fucking toxic as hell. Like, it doesn't need to be in the game, you know? So, really the only thing he's looking forward to at this point is the time-rending Morganites that he can play stun and draw two cards every turn and get two summons, because that card is going to be absolutely disgusting for stun and possibly cash Tira too. We'll have to test that and see. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Look at these silver-ass sleeves. You can't even see it because of the glare. Look at that. The, from the early 2000s sleeves. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if y'all know my dad IRL, you know the kind of shit that he likes to play. Um, this is just what he's playing. Let me know down in the comments how we can make this deck better. Um, because, I mean, I think that this would just be a fun little thing to have on the channel. And it's something that my dad can play. And, you know, we've been playing together for years. And I want him to at least somewhat enjoy the game. You know, he says that he enjoys playing with me. And I understand he loved playing Mystic Mind. But let's at least build him something where he can be somewhat competitive and still play something that he enjoys. So that he just doesn't get slapped around by the meta and says, this shit sucks. Mystic Mind needs to be back at three. Because that shit's never coming the fuck back. So, guys... 
Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.